Why don't I hear anything? Four and seven through five. Um, Julia, are you there? Should actually be in section. All right, we got the sound working. I had to put my headset on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some slides. Uh, welcome to. Uh, you didn't hear me before, so welcome to the magical group website review. Um, I will be recording this. I can't tell you how soon I'll get the recording out. Um, Got a bunch of websites to review today, but I wanted to show you some slides, and then um, we'll we'll get in right into the reviews. Okie dokie. Let me do a share. <laughs> so let's. Let's see. All right. So we're rolling, I think. Let me doubly make sure. Hold on a second. Yes, it is recording. Okay, so I will share this. I'm just going to share the PowerPoint for right now. All right, so let me just, uh, whew, get centered and um, we're getting into a new paradigm for marketing. So just um, what I'm going to be saying is probably different than you normally would hear, but um, let's get into it, okay? So my name's Julia Stege, I'm the Magical Marketer, and I'm here to help you express your purpose through marketing and attract your true soul tribe. So I've been making websites for a long time, like 20 years almost. I've attracted over 40,000 divinely aligned followers online, I made a bunch of sales as an artist just by being myself. So I wanted to say a little bit about um, sort of like, well, this is sort of a typical funnel. So, um, you know, you, this is what you really want. You want some kind of a flow that attracts people, gets them to opt into your list, educates them about what you're up to, and then um, somehow you end up uh, attracting clients this way, enrolling them into your services or uh, programs. And I'll probably bring this back up again. Another element I'm gonna be looking at, so, well, to go back here, I'm going to be looking at, um, and let me make sure that participants are, are not like being shut out of here. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to be looking to make sure that you have like a reasonable funnel that you've got like a visual aesthetic, you know, uh, that uh, reflects who you are and the copy is, you know, good. But I wanted to say a little bit about some things that just aren't commonly talked about. Like, what does your visual imagery say about you? Most websites I look at, and we'll see today, they just don't have anything unique about their visual appeal. Okay, and unique is really what sets you apart from other people. So this is visual communication and it's a secret way to intuitively attract the right people to you. So you notice these three ladies, they have different aesthetic and a different kind of feel to them all together. And then you can kind of get the feeling that maybe the person is a little slightly different. You get a sense of what their essence is by looking at it. By the way, if you have questions while we're going along, please put them in the chat box. Um, and if you want to talk to me, you know, other than, um, you know, the website reviews, then uh, you can put that in the chat box too. Here's some befores and after. Not only do I love my site, but I'm embodying myself more, living a more authentic life since working with Julia. This is M uh, Michelle. You can kind of see that she was hiding out before and then she comes out in her brand. And it makes it just more distinguished as her. And then she ended up having a 600% increase in sales when she redid her brand. Carrie Dinau doubled her practice. So if you've heard like design doesn't matter, <laughs> Um, it does, you know, it really helps people to see who you are if you've got something really creative in your visuals. This is Rich German. You know, he was really embarrassed about his website before. He's doing a lot of international um, ocean preservation work. And so we changed his website to be more reflective of his purpose, his art, and who he really is. Same with Barbara. She was doing reasonably well before, but then we really took her up to the next level when we did her brand and have everything look cohesive. So I would suggest don't undervalue um, the value of having everything look cohesive as well as your message is cohesive and your offering is cohesive. One of the problems that I notice that a lot of people have, and when we go through websites, you'll probably see some of this, is on the left, we have like over explanation. And to the right, we have a really clear reflection of what this guy is about. So he had all these words. I mean, if you're in trauma, do you wanna hear, see all these words? You know, it's like three columns and then two columns and then a headline and three columns and then a headline and then three columns. I mean, do you want to read all that or do you want to just know this is about taking you from trauma to tranquility and to visually see, oh, it's got, it's heart-based, it's balanced, it's kind of spiritual and yet scientific. You get that all instantly without having to read anything. So Maybe you're struggling with your brand message. Maybe it's the visual. Maybe your website doesn't reflect your essence. Then you don't know what to do about it. Maybe it's just not getting results and you don't know why. Maybe you're not showing your website to anyone because you think it's terrible. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna take a peek at that. Because a brand and website that represents you will produce much more attractive results. Oh, this is Anne, and she had 100 new opt-ins, seven new clients, and thousands of new visitors her first month out the gate with her new website. It just says, you know, more about you. It's easier to deal with, you know, you, it's more attractive. You want to be on the website. So what's up with your site? We're going to look at a bunch of sites now, but you might, if you're not showing your site, that's, you can look, kind of listen in. If you are, um, I'll, I'll probably call on, oops, I'll call on you. But you might be having these problems. Maybe no visitors, no opt-ins, no calls, no response, no clue of what's going on, okay? And I'm here to save the day or at least review your website. So I'm gonna, it's probably gonna be more than five minutes each site, okay? I'm terrible at time management, but, um, 
I'm gonna try to answer your questions, use my knowledge and my intuition to offer you some next steps. And then if you feel like you know you wanna get some help, then um, you can always uh, let me know. I mean, some of you already uh, gave me your phone number and we'll uh, schedule a call to talk privately. But you can also go to magicalwebsiteanalysis.com and apply for to talk with me privately. I'll show that again to you later. So here's the questions I'm going to be, I mean, I probably won't ask these all, you know, necessarily every time, but here are the main questions that we want to know the answers to. Do you know who you're talking to? Like, who is your ideal client? What's your message? Is there a way to interact with you on the site? Is your copy engaging? Is your visual brand representing you? Do you know how to help your tribe to find you? And have you found the right help yet? <laughs> so let's look at all that stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop sharing right this second. And then I'm going to go and go for the first one is Melissa. Melissa Brankowitz. And I'm gonna go to her website. Okay, so hold on. I don't think Melissa's here right now. I am going to put in the website address into the chat. Just, uh, so you guys know where we're going. And then I'm going to put on the share so we can all see it. All right. So I believe this is a Wix site. Um, I believe that's what she told me. So we get to this site and almost instantly we get this pop-up, never miss an update your name on the list. This is terrible. I would definitely take this off. If you have something like this, do not use it. It's sort of like, you know, it's like if you walked into a coffee shop and some guy walked up to you and said, can I have your number? Like with no, I no, hi, I'm so-and-so, you know, no, like, how are you having a good day? Just, can I have your number? That's basically what this is saying. Don't know you at all, but give me your email. No, that's not going to work, I promise you. So, um, I actually find this moving stuff in the background really distracting. Like, doesn't it make you want to look off to the side? Because it's moving. So it's taking us away from the content. So I think that's a terrible idea to have moving stuff in the background, plus it's making me dizzy a little bit. I wish I could stop it, but there's no way to stop it. Um, so those are some instantly, you know, some instant things. So do we have a sense here of who is the ideal client? Yeah, no, there's, you're not identifying exactly who your clients are. You're not really getting into what their problem is or so, something unique about them. Just they're looking for clarity of today's decisions. That's not correctly written. So your first sentence is not grammatically correct. Um, And it's it's sort of identifying a problem. It's not really clear. And um, it's not in proper grammar. But it's obvious that you're going to help people be more intuitive, right? True beings of light, intuitive healing, offering opportunity to connect with your loved ones, spirit guides, and angels to get clarity about your decisions. So 
So you're helping them to receive messages from their loved ones. I think you want to identify that they are feeling disconnected, that they can't, you know, make their decisions, you know, and that they want to connect with their uh, people that have passed. My dear, you have not updated your site and now you have a summer event on your homepage. Not good. So then people look at this and say, oh, it's not up to date. And Google does too, by the way. And they say, well, it's not up to date. I'm not going to send you anyone. I'm not going to pay um, attention. Or this, maybe it's not, she's not even doing it. She hasn't updated her website since at least June. Okay. Um, what were some of the other questions I said I was going to ask? So is there a way to interact with you? Very compelling, right? So it says contact us, book online, okay. And then it had the, you know, join our list. What you don't have is what I would call an irresistible freebie, which is like, if we go back to our funnel, is like this, is our is irresistible freebie. Um, like the Soul Tribe Attraction Plan, and then it leads into some other irresistible freebie, like a, some kind of an event. Maybe there's a group that it goes to. Maybe it goes into the services after that. So there's nothing like that on this site. What else did we want to know? Does our website engage and inspire action. Well, I would say it's not terrible. I mean, it, there's some grammatical problems, but that could be easily fixed with an editor. Um, but I think it's more about you here than it is about your interaction with them. You don't want to tell them exactly what it is you know, that they're going to go through. You just really want to engage them on an emotional level. Now you've got all this stuff, but none of this really matters if they're not feeling connected with you. So you've got like all these different, like I do channeling, video, events, readings, like you've got a ton of stuff on here, but none of that's really going to matter if they're not feeling connected with you. So I think the number one thing for Melissa is to really um, clarify the brand. So the brand is your, is your um, verbal words you use, the message. Because right now you're just saying, oh, I'm a Reiki master, intuitive healer, psychic medium, channeler, registered practical nurse. Um, that's nice that you're all those things. Um, and she said she wanted to make it more streamlined. The challenge is taking the time to figure out the tricks and working on my website in Wix. I don't think there's any tricks. It's really a matter of being straightforward and clear about why you're different and what's your unique offering. Um, right now, this so this is a similar problem to what um, like Robert had, where I showed you his site, his before and after, he was saying, well, you know, it's, it's a little bit of this, it's a little bit of that, it's a little bit of neuromuscular healing, it's fourth dimensional nutrition, it's mental and emotional freedom, it's all these things that he's then uniting. So then the question becomes, how do you unite that all? And we united it with three words, trauma to tranquility. So that's what we want to do with you is get down to the core essence of what makes you different and what you're offering um, in a way that's quite unique and special to you that you like to say over and over again. And the other question was, does your visual brand represent your brilliance? Well, I mean, I think this this image is really uh, cool, but right now it's got a gray box around it. It's got ugly type on it. And so it's ruining it and it doesn't go all the way to the edge. Um, is this site 
well, it should be. It's Wix. Is it mobile friendly? It's not. Oh. Huh. Yeah. It, it messes up on a mobile. So um, this site needs to be updated. If it doesn't work on a mobile, uh, Google will not send you anyone and people will just get frustrated with you. Yeah, every time I refresh that page, I get the same uh, pop up. So let me stop sharing for a minute. Let me see if there's any questions. Is this you, Melissa? Are you here? Oh, no. Okay. Um, all right. I know Lisa had to go early, so I'm going to go jump to Lisa. Yeah. I think we got to the bottom line with Melissa. Okay. So let's go to Lisa. Um, here. Lisa, I'm going to unmute you. I basically told them um, oh, I need to get to our updated CER done. Oh, I guess she's talking to somebody else. Maybe I won't go to Lisa right now. I'm going to go to Lorinda. OK, so this is Lorinda. Um, Expertvirtualservices.com. So then I'm going to share. Okay. All right. So the first thing that I noticed going on to Lorinda's site is that she's got this graphic. This is actually a graphic here. It's just really, I think, poorly designed. I'm trying to get this thing off of the edge here. Let's see. How small can I make this? All right. So she's trying to show that she does all this stuff, expert virtual services, measure, organize, arrange. Um, but if you try to start looking at the, it looks like it's cut off, but if you try to start scrolling, all that happens is the page comes up. Um, and this just doesn't look right. I think it needs to be way more cohesive. And then below it can tell you the kinds of things that she does. There is no text on here. She might be updating this. Um, right here we've got like what happens on her subsequent pages is just the bottom of that image comes through and it just, it looks like nothing. It looks like a mistake, right? So if she's trying to get attract people to, that, you know, she's gonna help as a virtual assistant, this website is probably a deterrent. It'd be better for her to have nothing but the text than that graphic at the top. It's just, it's not doing her any good. Um, and she's she's charging a lot for for her industry. And so for her to really get that kind of uh, money, she's going to have to make her site way more modern. And so my recommendation for this would be switch out of this, um, theme set, whatever it is, and get into Divi, the D-I-V-I theme builder, and make a much more cohesive and beautiful site, even if she uses the template that they offer for virtual assistants, it'll be better than this website. So in terms of, you know, the text, it's kind of hard to back to the home page. Oh, there is no home page. Okay. And there's no picture. If I'm going to hire you as my assistant, I want to know what you look like. I mean, pretty much if I'm going to hire you for any reason, I want to know what you look like, right?
Yeah, she's obviously just starting out. Okie dokie. I'm going to do you next. Hold on, Lisa. Okay, I'm going to unmute you. Lisa, which uh, website do you want to look at? You gave me three. They they all point to the same thing. So Lisa oh, Sasso. They do? Yep. Okay. I'm going to type it in. So your goals are to get people to sign up for your new opt-in and to get people to listen to your welcome message. So let's see how that works. So what I'm going to do based on our meeting today, you, uh, Divi theme. Um, there's noise in the background, Lisa. Um, I'll answer that uh, Divi question. Divi theme builder, is it better than buying a pretty theme and trying to find my way around? Basically, I'm telling you to do that with Divi. <laughs> do the Divi, they give you a variety of theme options. They're very pretty and you can edit on the front end and then figure your way in around Divi. And now I'm saying to, um, to Lorinda, if she learns Divi, she'll have another service that she can offer people that's super popular and it's gonna be the best way to make a website in my view. Okay, so we're going to Lisa's website. And I'm having some delay. Okay. First thing I wanna do is see if it is mobile friendly. And you know, it is. It, it's not beautiful on a mobile, but it's not beautiful on a desktop either. So, I mean, in terms of Google, which doesn't really take beauty into account, you can be found, you can be read, your thing can be read, okay? Um, so that, it says reasonably well. Um, by the way, though, the way that your image was, um, see how your image has this like rough, messy gunk around it, like your graphic designer can fix that. So on, on your regular site that you can't see that because it's smaller and you're on a lighter background, but as soon as you go into the mobile, it's it's like the first thing you notice is that this fixture is like all raggy and you definitely don't want that. Um, now, I wouldn't even say welcome to my site. So, you know, if I can help you as your executive coach or your next motivational speaker, I'm excited. So it's, it's too much about you at the start. So you really want to engage your reader. And the way you do that is by understanding who your ideal client is and then tapping into their uh, identity and starting a conversation with them. So I know you help people who sell medical devices to, um, what do you do with them? You help them to become better salespeople, I think. That's right. Let me, let me see if I can unmute you. Maybe you don't have that background noise anymore. Nope, there's um, no background noise. Okay. So um, tell us again, you help them. I deal with medical device special um, professionals and I help them to achieve their goals, both personal and professional goals. And they can be anyone from an engineer to a marketeer to a salesperson. It's anybody that works in the medical device industry. I help them to get to where they need to be or on board into the company they want to on board to. 
All right, apparently I didn't have it. Sorry, I hadn't had it shared when I was looking. All right, so let me, um, sorry about that. Wait a second, this is all in the way. What I was showing before that you can now see is the raggy look around your face, your head. You see that, Lisa? Yeah, I'm taking so, the front of my LinkedIn profile sheet and that's going up there and that'll all be gone. Okay. So you could either have, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it, it's a nice picture of you and it looks okay. It looks fine on the big screen because it's lighter in the background, but on the smaller screen, it goes to the darker and then you can see that can be easily cleaned up on, on any version. So there's going to be, you want to discover the common, um, qualities of your ideal client so that they can identify that you're talking to them. Otherwise, it's just about you. Welcome to my site if I can help you. Now, I realize it says embrace your passions and achieve your goals with balance, but that's a very common message. And um, free report 10 ways to achieve balance now and plus monthly motivational messages. You know what ends up happening here is um, it's too common it's just not it's not a unique message and the way to get a unique message is like I'm saying is to really connect with your client your ideal client so you have to identify who your ideal client is in a way that it's not like well they could be this they could be that or they could be the other thing but to have one sentence that unifies them all and then to have a message that you say that to all of them um, that unifies them all and dif differentiates you from anyone else that could help them. It's specifically about what they're dealing with. And then position yourself in such a way as to be the solver of the problem that they have. So you identify your people, you have a message, you say, are you suffering with this? I can help you with this. Or are you looking for this result? I can help you with this. So only when you get to where they feel like you're talking to them, are they going to start responding to anything you have? Unless you were referred to them by somebody, you know, that says you come highly recommended. And Does that's that what sense? happens. That's what happens a lot. I, I get my, customers from either referrals or from speaking events that I do. Yeah. And then when I do get the referral or the speaking engagement, they look on my website and that's how I start to do business with them. My website is, is um, strictly to provide information to them to, so that they can know if they'd like to work with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. I just have to tell this guy. Peter. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on. I'm teaching a class. Thank you so much. I won't. I got some crab. All right. Um. Still, Lisa. You know, I'm. We we've talked about this before. I feel like you could radically improve the professionalism of the look of your site and the messaging to be more direct to the people that you're serving. There is a way to do it in an umbrella uh, way, like um, where whether they're a salesperson or they're a, a physician or whatever, that you can still unite them under one message. I can't tell you what that is right this second because it requires a few steps. Um, you know, Lisa, uh, you may want to look into, I'm, um, I'm, go I'm launching a program um, where that would help you with this. It's called Marketing from the Soul. And, you know, we look at who is our tribe and who, what do we say to them? How do we distinguish ourselves from others? Uh, how do we inspire people to interact with us? How do we get people to take action on our website? So the first piece of it really is, hey, 
I'm identifying who you are and I'm connecting with you, not, hey, this is what I do. Okay. Does that make sense, Lisa? Yeah. And so they're probably not going to watch the video. And then we can look and see how many times this video has been watched. Can we? The reason that you do well when you speak is because you're really clear about what their problem is, like right off the bat. And you're identifying with them right away. I wanna to try to see how many times this has been viewed. All right, so it's been viewed 342 times. Now, I don't know how many times your website has been visited, but I imagine it's a lot more than that. So then you can start looking at, um, looking at those numbers, Lisa. So okay. like you look and you say, okay, this is something you can start tracking. Um, and you're, you're, you know, you know about tracking, right? <laughs> so you can say right now it's November 22nd, 2019, and you have 342 views. Just write that down. Then if you do some kind of a change to the site, you change a photo, you change your welcome text, or you get a clearer message, or you change your website in some way, and you notice that your views go up, or that they don't go up. I don't know if um, YouTube has metrics, but it might be able to tell you how many views over what period of time. Um, especially since that's your goal, right? Your goal is viewing your welcome video and signing up for what your freebie is that what you said yeah yep okay My so option. i don't see the freebie it's up the top after I embrace your passion oh, this. See yeah see I, I just don't see that for some reason okay i think this is i i know it says free report but it for some reason i don't register this and I've looked at this a few times and you even told me it was up there before. And so I wonder why is that? I just don't think it belongs there. I mean, you have a sidebar, might as well be up here instead of- That's, you know, you to, it, that's to click into call for time. So under please. book time, maybe before upcoming events have get my free reports, but I would make your free report more, much more related to what you're doing. you know, with the medical device leaders. I'm coming up with a new one for medical device experts sharing um, comments on moving up the corporate ladder. Okay. That was good for work-life balance, but that was too general and yeah. not focused towards my. Yeah. But can you see, you wouldn't know if you came onto the front page where to go to sign up for the newsletter? Not really. I mean, I, I know that it's right there and in your mind, it's so blatant. But uh, as I said, I've been here a few times and I just, I just continuously ask you where it is. And then you say, it's right up there in the banner. And then I say, oh yeah, it's right there. And it's yellow and everything. I should see it, but I just don't. I just don't expect it to be there. And so then I don't end up seeing it. I would expect to see it over here in this area. Of course, then it, co it goes pushed all the way to the bottom on a mobile. Oh, like here is this, but still, it's just not even attractive. Like, why would I want that? So then it would push it all the way down to the bottom on a mobile, see? Like here's your booking time with these. Right, that's why it's located where it's located. Yeah, I understand. Well, do people opt in? Oh, um, I'm the only one that doesn't see it. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Um, is there anything is I can this? do? It, is there anything that I can do 
besides putting it on the right menu well, box? See, what, I, what I do with my clients, Lisa, is we come up with text that's really engaging to the client. We're not throwing a freebie right up at the top or before they've even know who we are or what we're up to. And so um, I'll just, I'll show you my website for a second, just as an example. So um, if I wanted to say the anatomy of a tribe attracting website, um, I've got, I've identified their problem right in the first, in the banner, and I have a banner that is visually appealing, right, and unique and magical. Now, I do have this right here, get your playbook, let the magic begin, but get your soul, free soul tribe attraction playbook, that's their problem is that they're not attracting their soul tribe. I've identified your soul tribe is seeking you now as your brand and website going to attract them, get your um, soul tribe attraction playbook, right? So it all looks good. It's not like in your face too much. Let the magic begin. So I've identified something, there's something different about the approach, right? But let's say they don't opt in right there. Now I've clearly identified who is my audience and what I'm doing. Are you in spiritually inspired? But then your branding is off or you don't know what to do because you hate marketing. But here's a new, new style. That, and then look, I've, so I've, I've, I'm having a conversation with them. And now I tell them, step one, get your freebie. Step two, let's connect. Here's some more designs and here are some praise. I'll show you another example. Um, so this is Christine. Um, she too has the little download at the top, right? Getting rid of stress fast. And she, she hasn't identified her client in the banner like I did. But it, it, so it still, it's identifying what she, what they want. They want to get rid of stress fast for sure. Eliminate stress, anxiety, and overwhelm. And now she's getting into it. Are you stressed out, anxious, overwhelmed? She's going to talk to them about how this is a problematic. Most people have this. Are you going to want to change? Well, get my free copy. So she might have had it up here, but then the first thing she does is she identifies who her clients are. They're stressed out, anxious, overwhelmed, mind chatter, never enough time, more time for you, right? So this is busy people, stressed out people. And there's a solution and here, get your free copy. Now you're gonna meet her. Do you want a free consult? And then some testimonial. Now, the. The thing about the free consult, I have it on my right hand market um, thing, but in the new next generation of my website, I'm going to have it show up a couple times if they want a consult. Right. I mean, I consult. like to have things kind of, um, you know, going sequentially down as you were, as it were. Um, but like on a um, on a mobile sidebars don't show up, so that's why I'm I'm over those. So did you did did you get a new theme or something? Yeah, I'm gonna take my theme that's on LinkedIn, mm -hmm. and put it right up there. Oh, you mean your steps? See that? with the climbing the corporate ladder and it has a male and a female mm -hmm. and it says, are you frustrated with your attempts to break in or to climb the corporate ladder in the medical device field? Yeah, that's going to be more direct. Do you like that better than what I, yeah, I mean, it's a little old fashioned stylistically, but that might be your people. What, why do you say that? Why do I say that? Yeah, why is it old fashioned? Why do I say that? That's a good question. No, 
know, it's some combination of the color, the font, and this um, leafy thing. Accolades. It really makes me think of the 80s. But I mean, it's, it is definitely better than what you had, which mm -hmm. was just a picture of you and a more general message. And then it's going to take up the whole page and not just yeah. the middle part of the page. Yeah. I mean, so it's scholarly and maybe those are your people. Um, you know, uh, scholar types, they like certainty of knowing. When I work with people, we work, we go into this kind of thing. We go into, you know, what, what exactly um, is the driving core need of the client. My clients, Lisa, tend to be artistic and creative, so they would never go for this. Okay. You need to see something unique and creative, but a scholar type, and you're kind of showing here is like a typical, very conservative dress. Um, they like certainty and not nothing too wild. So nothing too creative. They like to just be certain is more attractive to them than, you know, super, very creative. So if those are your people, then this will work. If they're not, they won't be attracted. I have, I have a feeling that they might be. They might be, you know, scholarly types. Is that helpful, my dear? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Thank well, you. let me know when you when you get the new thing. Too. Deborah says she has to leave soon too, and it was uh, ten minutes ago she said that. Um. Did I don't. Did I get your? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, we'll do you, Deborah. Can you just say, Go Christine? Ahead, Lisa. Christine D. Do what? Oh, what, what was her website? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll put those in. Um, I just want to go back and look at yeah, hers. Yeah, that was that was that one, and then mine is magical-marketing.com. All right, Lisa. Thanks for coming. Thank you. All right, let's see. Deborah. Can I unmute you, Deborah? I can't. It's, you've muted it on your end. I cannot I unmute it. you. Oh, there you are. Hi. Hi. No one wanted to be on video today. Just me here <laughs> looking like I look, however you like it or not. <laughs> All right, here's your website. Um, davis.com I'm going to do a screen share. Okay. All right. How long ago did you have the site made? Uh, maybe four years ago or something. All right. Well, not terrible for four years old. And uh, yeah, you just need to update it. Okay. I need to update it and. Um, I haven't done the freebie and I just haven't done anything with it in like a year and a about two years actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, I like this photo of you. Good. Critical <laughs> intuitive. There. Okay. I want to change that, you know, transformational practices. That's not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you have the same challenge, Deborah, as like most people I talk to. Um, you got some stuff going on. You got Qigong, you've got intuitive readings, right? You got mm -hmm. the blog. But that's just like if you got another modality, then you would add it in there. Mm -hmm. At, you're, you're talking about the modalities. Right. So after 25 years of doing this you have something unique i promise you <laughs> mm -hmm. um but that isn't coming across here yeah um hey we both used the hummingbird my logo is a hummingbird too yeah i love hummingbird. 
I mean, I don't know how much this helps you. Yeah, you know. my, my guy just did that. It's ugly, but. <laughs> Thanks, guy. Well, I, you know, I think you're better off. Tell, uh, yeah, it's a little rough, but. Yeah, I was seeing the same thing. But. Um, but I think you could email your people. It's, it's all right to have it here because then you use the sale code. But you need. Yeah, to I, I did them. just do a newsletter yesterday. Okay, good. Yeah. <sighs> so, like, design-wise, it you know. It, it's boxy. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pick this up and hang it up. Okay. Um, yeah, hopefully that wasn't a real person. It was probably a robo ad. <laughs> That's the only people that call me when I don't have an appointment. You see how boxy it looks? Yeah. So it's got, it's got these boxes on the side and then it's got this box and then this box and then a box inside the box. And then you've got this box and these boxes and the boxes inside these boxes. <laughs> yeah, I never really looked at it like that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, I don't know how much you want to do a completely new website. Yay. It looks like it's been three years. Um, yeah, I am. This is like an, an uh, like an eternity. Uh, and if you'd like to talk to me, you know, I said we could talk later again um, yeah. about what I could do for you. But just just if you noticed on the sites I just showed, there's a cohesiveness. It doesn't seem as boxy, okay. you know. And yeah. even when it is boxy, you know, um, here's another new site that we just did. Like you get there, so this is somebody that you might relate to, right? I mean, she does mist, irreverent mystics are her clients. Um, but we, I mean, we spent some time on this branded banner to really dif distinguish her mm -hmm. from everyone in the world, okay? Yeah. And then, yeah, we've got boxes on here that's clear, but there's stuff that we do to make it kind of like either interesting, artistic, engaging, beautiful, mm -hmm. you know, interesting. Yeah. And so, yes, all websites are um, boxy, but with this is the Divi theme. With Divi, we can do these cool borders that. Kind of yeah, I had Divi on my last one, and and then you I got rid of it. Well, it's even better now. Dumped it. Yeah. Yeah, it's better now, and I mean, there's more people that know it, so you can get help. But there, we don't have to have like straight lines necessarily between our um, thing, you know, and just we could just make things really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um. So that's one aspect, right? And beauty especially when you're doing something that kind of spiritual or holistic, you know, heal, intuitive, you know, magical. Mm -hmm. And you have some stuff here, you know, that, that looks, you know, I mean, there's something cool could be done with this. And some of these backgrounds are kind of cool. Yeah. Um, it's just, that's when you're working with people that aren't really designers, uh, they're more production people. They can take your stuff and they can kind of put it together. Mm -hmm. But then it doesn't really look unique or great. Right. It's um, just well put, put together, maybe. So while I feel this is more modern looking than perhaps, say, Lisa, um, it's still, for my eyes, I don't think it's where you want it to be. To yeah. reveal, to show. I mean, there's a lot of people that are doing healing they haven't been doing it for 25 years they haven't been doing anything consistently for 25 years yeah right okay <laughs> they might even just be 25 right yeah right <laughs> but a lot of the people that i i work with one of the biggest challenges they have is that they keep changing up the offer mm -hmm. and so there's no consistency over years and years and years but you have that that's one of your you know, strong points is consistency over years and years and years. 
Yeah. What is missing is your ability to express that in words and imagery. Exactly. Also, I'm thinking about, but I just haven't, you know, I've taken this year off to study, but I want to do a certification program online for mm -hmm. women young. And so I was wondering. To offer to teach them, to certify yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know if I should wait to redo my whole website till I'm actually got that together or, or start now. No, because the, everything is about your brand anyway. So attracting those people, once you've established your, what's your, unique about you and you have a visual brand that really distinguishes you and you have your message that is clear about who you help and how it's not just about you having this skill set. Yeah. Um, once you have that, then you add in the um, certification program. And there's a lot of ways, I've been in certification programs where, uh, twice, mm -hmm. two certification programs where there was nothing technical about it, hardly at all. We were emailed the content, you know, there was a, Maybe there was a website with some stuff on some pages, but mostly not. Okay, we're talking mm -hmm. about between 10, you know, 13 years ago when we didn't have anything. And that, mm -hmm. so, you know, that's something that can be strategized. Like how exactly technical do I need to be? Yeah. You know, do I need a membership plugin? Do I need a member site? Well, mm -hmm. it depends on if, if you're really stuck on, I don't mean to use that language, but that's what came up. <laughs> um, if you're attached to that, they have to be dripped on. You need a member site. Yeah, but I'm I, just so non-techie and, and I'm, I actually like to prefer being with people one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I mean, you know, in me my too. Room. Right? Yeah. So I just give them the whole thing. Like when I work with somebody, say if, we, if you and I were working together, as soon as we sign the contract payment and all that stuff, I just give you the whole thing. <laughs> now mm -hmm. in 13 years no one has said oh wow you know i can't handle it i'm overwhelmed because they just stick with the first module if that's where they're at they don't look at module two through six and say oh, i haven't gotten there yet usually once in a while they will they'll say oh i'm behind and i'll say wherever you are right now is perfect just relax take a breath okay. and just be where you are but i don't have to do anything hardly technical I mean, yes, it's technical, it's a page, but uh, in WordPress, any page on WordPress can be made with a password protection, but it's mm -hmm. just one password. So yeah, if you give away the password to one person, are they gonna give it to everyone? No, they have integrity, they're just not. And maybe if somebody does, it doesn't really matter. They could have given their own password anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you're not going to stop people from sharing your content necessarily. You can f stop them from accessing any content though. Mm -hmm. So some membership sites I've been a member of, you know, <clears throat> they have videos in there, but you cannot access them except for through the member site. You can't download them or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And then once they take away, if you have a unique password and they take that away, you can't get in. Those are, you know, people want member sites so that, so that they can charge people, give them a unique password, and then drip content onto them in a specific time delineated way mm -hmm. and take them out if they stop paying. Okay. But I never have so many clients I can't do that manually. Of course, if you have 300 clients, then that's different. But uh, I don't think if you had 300 clients, you wouldn't be talking to me right now. Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so <coughs> okay be like whatever i don't care if the website works or not i've got these 300 clients i've got to serve right right so um i'll get back with you on you know we can talk again about more specifics but i would say number one for you is to really identify what makes you unique and valuable to your clients in your messaging mm -hmm and then create a visual brand that is uniquely you that reveals your soul. And mm -hmm. then, you know, you're in terms of the, then the copy is going to have to kind of be rewritten perhaps, 
or perhaps not. So once you have the brand, you can look at the copy and say, oh, that only needs a word in here. Okay. You know, like you might find a word, like I found magical. You might find a word that once you use it, like, you know, about uh, like irreverent, okay? Right. Um, you know, that's just, it's, it's more than just a mystic. It's a irreverent mystic. So then she's going to identify with words like irreverent or rebel or, you know, yeah. or something that's unique and different. Okay. Yeah. Out I, of the box. Right. Yeah. So, I have some ideas. So I'll talk to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, my dear. Thanks okay, for coming thank you today. So much. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing for a second. Okay. So we've already done. Lorinda, Melissa, Lisa, Deborah. Um, now, I don't know. Let's see. The other ones I've got here are Wendy. So I don't know. Is Wendy here? Sod. And Michael. Um, so, if, if you have a website you want me to review, and I didn't just mention your name, you can um, text me and say I want to be reviewed. Otherwise, we're just going to go in order. I got these. So the next, oh Brenda, Brenda. Sorry, your name is split on thing. Uh, you ready? I can't unmute you. Brenda, do you want me to just talk? Yes. There you are. Okay. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Zoom to work on my phone right, so I'm on the phone. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, you can't see us? I can. I, I got you on my main computer. I just don't have a mic hooked to it. Okay. Well, I can hear you, and we don't need to see your smiling face. No one else did. I'm the only one. <laughs> I have to be on video, but no one else needs to be. I, you know, this is so funny because I keep thinking I should do a Zoom so everyone can see each other and then everyone comes on without video. That's my typical tribe. All right. Um, okay. Seeds of Wellness. Dot com. I feel like I have been looking at this site for years. You've seen different variations of it over the years. <laughs> um, from since 2010, I swear. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Because you've got. Oh, all right. Do you see what's happening here? It doesn't fill the sides. Yeah, oh, wait, it's I'm something to do looking. with that theme. I didn't share. Um, it. Yeah. Michael has to tell me. Stop, please share. Okay. Please share. Uh, I keep forgetting to share. All right. Uh, here we go. All right. So you notice. Yikes. Okay, so on a big screen, it's looking like, whoop, your top banner is not the right size. Mm -hmm. <sighs> the top banner is done at a lower resolution as well. Let's shrink it. Oh, yeah, so it always stays the same size. It just... It doesn't get smaller. All right. I've been well, struggling with well, that. For some resolution. reason, that banner is just not working right. It's just not. It's, it's blurry. You know, I think you could you could upgrade this. But, I, I mean, I like your thing, your logo. Thank you. And the little flying. You've had that forever, right? Mm-hmm. So you don't want to change that. That And this is your store. Yes. People come into your store and they buy like crazy. Right? Yep, that's, the, that's what we want, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you are in, where are you? See, no address, okay? Oh, it's at the very bottom. Oh, here it is. It's at the top. Yeah. So and then I at the bottom put again. put that in here. I would put this in here again. Just, okay. you know, because one thing you want is people to come in, right? 
Mm -hmm. That one result that you want. Let's see, what does it say here? It's getting up SEO. <laughs> um, visit the store, sign up for our event service and classes. Visit the store. Okay, so one thing you can do is have people at the store signing up for the list. Are you doing that? Yes. Okay, good for you. Um, and there's a lot that, you know, I could come up with strategies I'm not going to do for you for right now for free. But um, so let me just push those aside for a second. <laughs> um, definitely have your address right up here because you want people to come in. And then maybe have some kind of like, hey, did you find us online? If you found us online and come into the store, I'll give you something, a little stone or something. Okay. Like something easy, not too expensive. With your first purchase, I'll give you a free stone. I don't know okay. what you're charging for those stones, but if it's only a couple of bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, and so then you've got like some kind of inspiration for them to come into the store and bring their little coupon or something. And you could have okay. them opt in too for that. So that's the only idea I'm gonna give you. Just let me stop. Please stop me from giving you too many ideas. Okay, so okay. events and classes, she's not gonna stop me. It's, I'm teasing in a sense. Um, my coach always says, you give away too much. Okay. Events and classes. Psychic reading, right Reiki classes and massage. Uh, you need a better strategy for selling these classes. That is for sure. Uh, let's see. And this is all you got is a calendar. Mm -hmm. That's pretty terrible. Okay. And if I click on this, it'll tell me a little bit. Pat Beers answers your questions. So, uh, something uh, more enticing. I mean, it's reasonably, you know, I mean, it's like, oh, there they are. You know, what more do you want, Julia? Well, if I'm not, if I'm not like already your gal, go to your store every week. I love the smell of it. I go looking around. I get my little stones. I look, da, 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 da. And then I'm going on the site to look at events. Okay, well, that's not terrible. But otherwise, it's totally not bringing me in. products and you're not selling products online you want them to come in the store or uh, you want them to um, come to one of the classes yeah. so this site is terrible at getting people cold to want to come to your site okay it's not terrible for people that already know you to follow you on social media, find out your phone number, or know what your hours are, or even get your calendar. Is this going to go to the events page again? Mm -mm. Oh, Pat petting a skunk. I don't know about that one. <laughs> I think we could do a better picture of Pat. Um, I think we could do a better picture of Donna, too. I think we could do a newer picture of Elizabeth, where she doesn't look so tentative. Right? She's like, really? Don't mm -hmm. take my picture. Greg could look less serious. So all these pictures of these psychics are not great then they're probably not really that interested in getting their photos redone. But if you could maybe work out a deal with a photographer to come in when they're all there and get good ones, that would be nice. Cause I mean, I'm not gonna, I mean, that's just not attractive to me. Okay. I think only like a skunk aficionado or protector of skunks, wildlife protector, like my friend Star would like that picture. 
but I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna get sprayed and I'm gonna smell or she'll smell. It's too, it's too shocking. Okay. Don't need to get too heavy into that. You know, just like everyone, branding, branding, branding. Branding would even help you with your SEO in a way, because you want to, um, you know, you want to be clear and consistent in a message, um, and you want to identify who who is your ideal person. It's just not really you're just offering services and and products, but you're not like engaging with your peeps. Okay. So branding, branding, branding. Um, what was the other thing that I was just about to think or that I was just about to say? Um, shoot. Yeah, I mean, I would really get more into how on the home page, how your events help people or how your products help people. It's too general right now. And once you get your photographer in, they can take a higher resolution photograph of your store. And maybe even with the people in it. Okay. So. I mean, there's some other things strategically, you know, I think you could do better, but are you in a position to redo? I mean, this the website itself isn't so terrible. There's just like the graphics in it. Right. What What's the theme you're using? Um, I forget the name of it. It's not terrible, you know? So, you know, I don't see a real need to redo the site per se. So the structure of the site seems fine, though. You, your graphics aren't working mm -hmm. and there may be you know a couple little things that could be done to make it more you know like here mm -hmm. it is on a on a mobile where it starts looking funky so it's I'm sure it's better than it was in 2010 oh it is I, I remember it being like not really filling the screen before, right? Mm -hmm. um, like it came up to the sides only, and then it had like columns on the sides. Right, and it wasn't mobile friendly. And it wasn't mobile friendly. So I don't know if you can get help, you know, from me or anyone. I do have a program, it's like a thousand dollars. I don't know if that's in your budget uh, where I support you for six months weekly you know getting this stuff done um if that interests you you can let me know i'll give you the details um the next best thing is just getting you know my book which you can get at okay. brandingfromtheheartbook.com you know it doesn't really you know i won't be back and forth but um i really think it's it's branding, identifying what's special about your store and how you uniquely help your people. Okay. And then having some strategy for how you engage them and bring them in. You know, what's their core need? Now you have a class that's based on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. and definitely have them on the homepage more, more descript more descriptive. Okay. All right. Any other questions yeah. about that? Is that good enough? No, that's, that's very helpful. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, Brenda. Thanks for coming. Okay, so let's see. Uh, I keep losing my pen. Okay, Brenda. Gone. Uh, Michael isn't here anymore. Sorry, Michael. All right. I'm going to get to Michael now, though. He was here earlier. He didn't want to wait. Oh, no, that was Andre. 
Okay, Andre's still here. Okay, um, Michael is at HTTP. Michael email gmanning. Okay, so let me share. Oh, I like the pink. That's my favorite. That's one of my pinks. And you notice it's also one of the pinks that we're using here. All right. Um, of course, nothing else is, makes it easy to read because it's on pink. So let's first look at, ah, all right. So the mobile squishes Michael's head. Yeah. And I mean, it's mobile friendly, but this is um, very thrown together. What does Michael say? To find new clients, finding new clients. Okay, he asked me, will it be recorded? Michael needs some branding. You seeing a pattern here? Now he's got all these testimonials, which is good. You know, this would be better if, it, if the background was white, I mean, or a lighter color, even though I like the pink. It's, this is not designed, this is thrown together. Um, so just like some of the other people that I was talking to, you wanna identify with your client first and it's not they're not looking for a proven professional to guide them right but if you've got some worries what worries lack of direction da, 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 da. so you want to identify the people now it might be you know men you know, of a certain age might be your people because you are a man of certain age and maybe you really understand that what, or maybe they're young. So you want to identify something about them that they can feel like, are you, you know, edging towards retirement and still not knowing what you're doing with your life, dealing with your inner critic, no direction and feeling stressed, you know, changes, uh, changes to your physicality, making you losing your identity. So do you see how that is more directly de dealing with a particular audience that they feel like, yes, I am. I'm getting towards her retirement and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Yeah, obviously he does good work because he's got all these testimonials. So I would, I would suggest the Divi theme for this too. But I'm going to call maybe a little, well, Michael, if you wanna talk about how I can help you, I think that with all of your skill, that your website should really be a better reflection of your amazingness. I do like the photo of you. I mean, I think I feel you through your photo. You seem like a, a sweet man from your photo. Let's look at some of the other pages. My mission is, I mean, of course, we're totally aligned. Mother Earth in the highest light. Definitely, Michael, we're totally aligned, obviously. Uh, here's our services, dynamism, blah, blah, blah. So you're just, you're describing your modalities, but then, your people aren't going to know which one they want. You, what you really want is to be able to attract people to want to connect with you, and then pretty much tell them about your offerings then. Look at all these credentials. He's an ordained minister. <laughs> to prove you're a human, what colors are the United States? Okay. And he was getting maybe some spam. 
this, uh, by the way, this page is just, it's easier to read. So if you want to use this gray or whatever on the home page, that would be my suggestion. Just to, to make it easier to read. All right, Michael. I would say you need a much better theme than this. And to clarify your audience and so that you can really connect with them. All right. Mm -hmm. One more. Oh, two more. Sad. People. Scope. Dot AE. Oh, it's a management consultancy. All right, let me share my screen. May I have your opinion on what is not going well with the site? Well, this is very professional looking. Uh, attracting and retraining qualified employees. Uh, maintaining good product, so I didn't get to the beginning. I actually like this. Helping organizations achieve their business targets. We aim to help the organizations. So I would change that first slide to be, because that might be the only thing they see. So you might say, I'm, we aim to help our, our clients by improving their employee satisfaction and then go into, the, or by improving their productivity or by improving their results, dot, 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 by improving their employee satisfaction. All this stuff can be changed right in on there because you can see that this is um, not on the graphic by improving their employee skills, et cetera. Our role involves, so it's obvious English, not the first language here. So you may want to get this edited and you've got impressive clients, um, you know, um, you may want to identify some of their challenges. Are you losing good client? Are you losing good staff? Are your people going to other companies? Are you not productive? Uh, is, is, you, is there something wrong? You know, um, welcome to people scope. We help organizations in all sectors improve their performance by helping them with their client, with their customer, sorry, employee retention, da, 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 da. Um, I mean, I think that the, in terms of the website, it looks good. It's the messaging that's slightly off. I wouldn't change the look of the site. It's fine. So this is the first one that I would say that's good. It's modern. It's, it's probably been recently done with a new, uh, a new kind of theme. Survey. It's very corporate, so that's you know they're well, they're attracting corporate, so that's also different from tracking like you're a healer and you're attracting clients to your healing or your coaching business because um, a, a client who does a corporate work, well, they need to attract corporate. It's more conservative, you know. They're about results. It's not as an emotional attachment that they want. They really want to know the results. Let's take a peek at the other one that they gave me, Asad gave me. Online survey.iq. Okay, that one isn't coming up very quickly. It's very slow. I'm not sharing yet. Okay, now I'll share. 
similarly, this looks, you know, it looks good, okay? And like, uh, of course, if this was not going for corporate, and then I would say, oh, it needs to be more unique, but the uh, corporate, it, they want what they expect. They need to, to relate um, to it. Now, of course, you could be more engaging. Um, like a new way to deliver ideas is not enough. So I would put in your brand message up here, you know, um, um, understand your clients better with online surveys or something like that. If you're doing only operating in Iraq and only serving Iraqis, you may say something like, you know, um, attention Iraqi companies or learn out how you're, you know, to, uh, I don't know, something where you're identifying that, that you're in Iraq. Otherwise it doesn't matter if you're serving people all over the place, I don't think it matters. You've got a reasonable theme, maybe your images are too big, that's why it took so long. Um, oh, you have the same picture on every page, I would change that up. Um, I think, you know, for the most part, the, the structure of the site is good, it just needs to be um, the engaging, you know, the copy isn't, isn't right on. One more, Wendy, and wait to the end, but Wendy wasn't here. I'm gonna call her anyway, and so it's not terrible that she's not here, but I'll just get a start on that review, and for your benefit, Dr. Wendy Lyon. Oh yeah, hi Wendy. Oh, let's see. Yeah, I love that picture of you guys. I, I do. I mean, it does feel like love. It really does. Okay, look, she's doing pretty good with this. Engaged, and she's using Divi, I can tell. Are you discouraged, doubtful, or confused about dating or relationships? Would you like to have more clarity, confidence in your love life? Now, that's a little general, but you're doing a good job of trying. Now, if you've been doing this, Dr. Wendy, for 20 years, there's gonna, like, similarly with, who were we talking with before, who has 25 years? Deborah, I think it was. Was it? Yeah. Um, something unique about you is not coming across the contrast between the orange and the green is a little sickening um i mean the site is reasonably okay because you're just using the divi and it you know it, it kind of already looks good no matter what you do in divi almost probably started with one of their themes and started changing it guiding you the love of your life with the love of your life so this is what I would say, Wendy, and I'll talk later again. Original branding visual. And original message. Guiding you to the life you love with the love of your life isn't terrible, actually. Life you love with the love of your life. Hmm. Okay, I mean, I might even say that's okay but then how do you really distinguish this from some from everyone else like who's a marriage family therapist or something conscious dating that's interesting title conscious dating group that sounds interesting gotta update your site dear it's up out of date since october let's look at some of the other pages so folks, this is the Divi theme, and you can tell she kind of did it herself, okay? I don't know if you can tell that, I can. Yeah, 
That's pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's just not unique. I want to identify what really makes you unique and then express that clearly. That's a too big of a picture of the bridge and it's not very good. Is that by the same person that did the Golden Gate? It looks kind of like the Golden Gate, but not quite. It looks similar, right? Yeah, so this isn't terrible, but it's just not unique. Conscious dating is cool. So I, I would emphasize that a little better. Yeah, she just took the, the theme and kind of edited it with her own stuff, which isn't terrible. It's probably better than what was happening before. Um, but, it, you know, it's a template. So then, you know, in the end, it doesn't look unique. All right, I'll give her a call later. All right, so that's it, my friends. It's one o'clock. Now, SDSS, what is that? What is the best membership software? Okay, let me ask, let me answer these questions. I don't understand Zoom. Da, 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 da. Deborah Arnett. Okay, Deborah. There were two Debras here. La, 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 la. Man is me and the biz name is Lotus Rising. How do I get mine into a picture of a lotus pond, a me in a lotus pond? Don't have a site built yet. Yes, most questions. <laughs> I don't know exactly what you mean, but um, did you want to talk to me? I can unmute you. Deborah, do you want to talk? Ask your questions. All I have to do is talk. I can hear you typing. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. Okay. Um, so you had some questions. How do you do that? Well, you get a professional to help you do that. <laughs> Sorry, but like now we're talking about Photoshop. And we're talking budget. Oh, budget. Well, you can, I mean, I'm sorry, you know. Uh, you could go to Fiverr and try to find somebody to do it. Mm, how much is the Divi theme? I think it's 67 for a year or 240 for life. Hmm. Something like that. that so, I mean, you good. might as well get it by the year if you're, you know, got budgetary constraints, see if you like it. And then you either pay by the year or you then you can purchase, you know, the lifetime. They won't give you a discount though. Uh huh. Okay. okay. Uh, Divi theme better than buying a pretty theme. Okay, yeah. I mean, you can see with um, the one I just reviewed that it's, it's not like automatically giving you great graphics. Um, so you need to go out on the web and find graphics? Yeah, that's one step. So it, if it is built with Divi, will it automatically show pretty on phones and tablets? If you use their template and just edit it. So for instance, let me share again. Um, so it's, it, it'll look reasonably okay. Uh, you know, so it, it resizes if you put it okay. that way, uh -huh. right? But then if, depending on if you had a, uh, something where it doesn't show up right, um, it, you have to fix it. Um, but it'll give you the option to edit on the front end and shows you, okay, well, this is what it looks like on a, on a desktop. This is what it looks like on a tablet. Mm -hmm. you know, okay, so it does that so I don't have to actually own a tablet and a whole bunch of other devices. No, I it'll show you what it looks like on the tablet. Okay, good. <laughs> um, and let's see. doing a website every year no no 
I mean, unless your website is terrible, in which case redo it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my website, um, I believe in around 2016 is when I designed it. And, you know, there's been some updates to it, but I wouldn't say redo. Okay. <clears throat> um, what's the best membership software? Woo member. So WooCommerce is the free WordPress plugin for uh, doing sh shopping carts through your site. Mm -hmm. And then there's Woo, there's a lot of different Woo things. Woo member, and you know, that's what, it's a plugin. Okay. So you could look that up. I think there's also Lyft, but I'm, I'm like, what is the Lyft for? So do you just look under WooCommerce.com or are they each one on a different website for the Woo plugins? Where's the Lyft? Oh, yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Sorry. Um, yeah, I just look up Woo. Woo, W-O-O. Oh, okay. Member. Woo member. Build a membership site. That's Entreport. Don't do that. Woo Commerce memberships. WordPress membership plugin. Okay. And then you get here and it's like, I guess one site is 150 bucks. That's why I'm saying you might as well look, uh, try to just do it because on, I mean, you don't need a membership site unless you're doing those fancy things. Yeah. I mentioned earlier. Am I sharing right now? No. So, I just um, did a search for WooCommerce, WooCommerce memberships oh. came up. Okay, yeah, WooCommerce. And everyone loves it, and you only have to pay once, right? So a lot of them you're paying by the month, like Kajabi. Forget it; it's two fifty a month. I hear Kajabi is really difficult to use too, and I'm, well, you know, you know, I'm not techie, learn, so. Yeah, yeah. Well, they'll teach you. A it's hard all, learn, you know. all integrated, but yeah, I would say they're all not easy. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I kind of zone opinion. out when I have to walk a lot of to watch a lot of tutorials. I go, oh, gads, I need a nap. Come mm -hmm. back to that later. They just make me tired. <laughs> I started crying. You know, I I use technical people to help me with it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to do that. I have a very technical friend, but he's going through some difficulties with his job and things. So yeah, so it's hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, um, I am not against going up on Fiverr. Are you familiar with Fiverr? Yeah. Maybe others aren't here, aren't. So, but then, I mean, look, it's a risk, right? But not much of a risk because they're really charging very little. Yeah. So um, you could go there and say, you know, do a search for setting up a member site but like then you have to trust them because you've got to integrate your so shopping cart. I guess you, would you have to have a shopping cart when you have a membership? Yeah, that's the Or couldn't point. you just have people pay through PayPal or something like that? No. Oh. So that's the whole point. You have it all automated. Uh-huh. They buy and then that puts them into a, a, uh -huh. a, a category and then that, category is programmed so that they get certain access. Okay. Like so I said, I've been doing programs since 2006 and I've never had a member site. All I did was take all of the content that they're paying for and put it on a page and copyright it. Now you could always, uh, you know, manually do this. So I don't know exactly what your structure is that you want to do. Um, what, but what do you mean by that? The structure. If I if I wanted to not have a membership site, but I wanted to have a course that starts on January first and ends on February fifteenth, and oh. I only want them to get the first module in the first week, I'm not that controlling. I don't do that. But let's say if I wanted to do that, then what I would do is I would set up the video and all the content for module one on one page and copyright that. I mean, cop not copyright. What's the word? password protect that page and then send the password to the people in the class 
so they can access module one and then I would have module two on a different page. Otherwise I have it all on one page. That's what I've been doing for 13 years, 14 mm -hmm. years. Well, I'm, I'm probably going to have an ongoing course that has an unknown end date. It's just kind of just a well, I mean, so weekly thing. A weekly thing. You can keep putting them stuff on there. I mean, yeah, the more stuff you've got, it becomes cumbersome to have it all without some form of organization. Yeah. So, uh, especially but, if I might want to actually sell it, sell the recordings and print material eventually as what they call it an evergreen, a digital product, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing all of that without a membership. Huh. Like I said, I just put it all on one page, but there's only one page of content. I mean, it, it's like six videos and some links and some, I mean, it's, it's not overwhelming mm -hmm. to it's, you know, here's module one. It's on attracting your soul tribe. And here's the playbook for that class. Here's a link to it. Here's the video. Here's the password to the video. Cause I had passwords for the video and then I'll have a line. Here's module two. And it's just all on one page. Okay. That's what I've been doing and I've saved, you know, thousands of dollars doing it that way. Then I started thinking wow. about doing it another way and my techie person was telling me what to do and then I started crying because it was just too much for me right then. Yeah, so, relate to that. <laughs> I just, I was like, I can't, I just can't even hear you right now. So if, you know, so I go back to the simple way. I'm like, whatever feels the best to you. Okay. Um, if I had the WooCommerce, can it, when people sign up in that, can it then take them to PayPal to pay or would I have to just have them going? Yeah, you have to have the WooCommerce set up and then in the Woo member. So those are two separate things, but they, they somehow work together. Okay. And I'm not the techie person. I just told you I cried. Okay. Right. <laughs> Um, but so I have other people doing this stuff, but I also don't want to spend thousands of dollars unnecessarily when I don't have to. Uh huh. So going forward, I'm probably still going to do, you know, my simple way for my launch, you know, that I'm doing next month. I'm, I don't, you know, I don't want to spend my time worrying about access that they get to my stuff. So then you have to have them pay with your, through your own merchant account rather than no, using No, they're just going to pay me. So people will pay me through PayPal. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like the I idea. I mean, I have it set up but through, a, I have a shopping cart. They'll pay through a shopping cart, but it'll be, PayPal will be the merchant. Yeah, that, that's good. I don't want to uh, get caught up with a uh, yeah, merchant uh, account. Me this it ends up paying a lot of money. It doesn't save you any money. Um, and then, you know, then I'll have my list of people who, who get access. I'll give them access. Uh -huh. And, you know, what ends up happening is if somebody doesn't, you know, if they're not fulfilling on their end of the deal, I'm going to have to work out a way to deal with that. So can you then like block them and no. turn off their monthly charges or whatever? You can't. Not unless I have a membership site, not on a regular, nice. yeah. No. Nice. Not with one password. Yeah, that wouldn't so. be difficult. I'm sorry about the SDSS. I don't know what that is. This is a laptop I bought in 2016 oh, okay. new. And I didn't find out till just a few months ago that when I thought I did want to use the camera for something that they failed to install the camera. Oh. <laughs> and I don't know what SDSS is. I don't understand that. I tried to give my computer a name once, but well, I wasn't techy enough to get that done, I guess. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to just talk to the people that were watching this by video. I mean, if you went through this whole thing, you obviously are worried about your site. 
Uh, <laughs> so if you want to talk to me, you can go to magicalwebsiteanalysis.com and give me your info, mm -hmm. or you can just actually reply to one of my emails and we'll talk. I'm pretty easy to get a hold of. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. And only Brenda is here. Hi, Brenda. You know, did you have any last questions or else we'll end for the day? No. Okay. Everyone's gone. Okay. You take care. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Go forth and attract. <laughs>